Hey everybody, it's Wendy. Welcome. I'm super excited to share this little treat with you today. This is my fun fall friend favor. <laughs> Say that 400 times fast. Um, so I really didn't know what to call it except that it was this really cute little thing I made to give to friends. So I'm using the layering circles die and the new acetate boxes from Stampin' Up. These are in the holiday catalog. These are so cool. I really, really love them. Um, they're meant to hold cards, I'm sure, but I'm putting candy in them today. That's my coffee maker. Sorry about that. Um, and then I've got my snowflake foil um, cutie patooties here. These are supposed to be snowflakes, but you can use them for so many things. They're silver and gold, so they're super cute. To get this box into shape, you just basically have to rock it back in the opposite direction and fold on all the score lines to put it together. It's really simple. I think you get eight of these boxes for six bucks. So it's a six or six fifty. It's a really great deal. And again, I think they were designed to put cards in and you can fit four cards in here with four envelopes um, comfortably. But I put candy in it today because I thought that would be another fun thing to fill this box with. So two days from now, we will be um, going live with the holiday catalog and you're gonna be able to purchase these items from the holiday catalog. These are my candies I'm showing you here. I used the coffee candies in one bat, uh, box and then I'm using these Werther Caramel Originals in the other box because both of these candies just scream fall to me. So I thought that I would do that. And if you go over to my blog, I have a little graphic there where I ask you which one is your favorite um, fall candy. I would love it if you left me a comment. You can either leave me a comment here on this video or leave it on my blog. Either one is fine. I have a belly band strip here that I've cut at two and a half by 12 inches and it wraps perfectly around this box, which I love. And so you just kind of have to line it up. I'm using the Painted Harvest Designer Series paper, which is a beautiful designer series paper. I really, really like it. And um, for those of you that don't know or haven't heard, I am doing a paper sampler, but tomorrow's the last day to get on board for that. So if you have questions about that or are curious about it, please send me an email at wendy.cranford at live.com or you can visit my blog and search paper sampler and it will come up. Okay, so I'm opening a crap load of inks here, people. I've got a bunch. I have always artichoke, crush curry, Cajun craze, cherry cobbler, early espresso. Um, yeah, I went to town with the ink colors. So I'm speeding this way up because you do not wanna sit and watch me stamp all this at regular speed because it took a long time. Um, I'm using always artichoke, like I said, now I'm using the cherry cobbler, and then I'll be using some Cajun craze. And I'm just creating this adorable cup with fall leaves all over it. You can see there's a hole in the middle. There's a reason for that. I didn't really need to stamp that because I'm putting a belly band across the cup. I did a Facebook Live event on Monday. I do one every Monday at 4.30 p.m. on my business Facebook page. You can find it by searching Love and Stampin' on Facebook. And I created a bunch of these coffee cups. I mean, a lot. If you visit my blog, you can watch the recording of this Facebook Live there. So um, if you want to watch the recording and see what I made, you can go and watch it there. This stamp set is the Mary Cafe stamp set and it goes with the Coffee Cafe framelits that are in the annual catalog. So if you don't have these framelits yet, make sure to get them because you can use them with more than one stamp set, which is awesome. My hope is that they're just gonna keep making super cute stamp sets for us to use with this framelit set, because I love it. And I'm gonna be really upset when they get rid of it. So <laughs> I'm hoping they just keep it around. So I've stamped my sentiment in early espresso on top of crumb cake ink. If you're wondering how I got all these little cuts already cut out, it's because I did it off camera using those awesome framelits. So it just says, hello fall. It's pumpkin spice latte time. And I thought that was really cute. 
All right, we have this awesome jute ribbon that's also in the holiday catalog. Comes in this big roll. It's really not ribbon, it's twine. And I'm wrapping it three or four times around this box and then I'm gonna tie a little bow here off to the side. I originally put this box together without any ribbon on it and or twine and it just felt a little blah like it needed something so this added the perfect element to tie everything together no pun intended and it just I don't know it kind of has that very fall festive country look to me and so then I got um, here's the ribbon or twine I keep calling it ribbon whatever whatever potato potato okay so I've got a Cajun craze circle that I cut out of my layering circle framelits and I'm going to layer that down on top of this using Stampin dimensionals and I'm just kind of putting it right in the minnow minnow I'm putting it in the minnow I'm putting it in the middle then I am adding some uh, glue here Tombow mono adhesive and adding one of those foil snowflakes and then I'm going to add my coffee cup right on top so as you can see that snowflake completely serves other purposes it really doesn't even look like a snowflake under that cup you would never know it's a snowflake actually so um really really cute love how it turned out if you want to see other videos from me click on either one of them that you see here or you can subscribe to my channel, click on the little circle with my face in it, uh, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment on your favorite fall candy. I always love to know that. If you haven't received your holiday catalog and you're a customer of mine, you should have, so message me if you haven't. I hope you have an amazing day and join me again Friday.